hey what's up what's going on can you guys please like and subscribe to my youtube channel and like the video it'll be greatly appreciated today we're going to talk about the challenge invasion of the chance season 29 episode 8 let's get to it anyways the challenge well they start off with everyone gets a chance to go to the club and everyone's at the club. This is the first time we get a chance to go to the club. Everyone's dancing. Everyone's having a good time. They're boogie, woogie, woogie, whatever. So anyways, you know, Johnny Bananas, he, this game to him is not only physical or strategy, but it's also mental. So he's going to play with people's minds. So basically, Johnny talks to Darrell and tells Darrell, you know, I could never do what you did. You won four challenges in a row. I only won two in a row. So at the end, it should be us, me and you at the end. Me going against you at the end. And we know that's bullshit. Johnny Bananas do not want to go against anybody that can possibly beat him at the end. He will eliminate you. He will destroy you. He will make sure you don't end up at the end. So hopefully Darrell does not listen to Johnny Bananas. Because like he said earlier in the se early in the episode, Noble gets you nowhere in this challenge. It gets you eliminated kicked off knives knives in your back basically so anyways they're dancing having a good time um ct's like oh my god look at all these young folks they're doing a nay nay they're doing all these dances i can't do it anymore he's like i'm doing a roger rabbit blah 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 so basically he's just like this is a young man's club because he don't go to the club anymore because he's a father so anyways everyone's having drinks they're dancing shane took Shane takes off his shirt. He's dancing, flossing his body or whatever. So anyways, everyone arrives back to the house. And guess what happens? Um, Corey hooks up with Carmilla. Carmilla thinks Corey is fine. And Corey likes that little booty she has. So he wants to hook up with her. So anyways, CT notices as he walks in. He goes, wow, Corey couldn't wait to get Kayla out the door. And now he moved on to Camilla. Oh my goodness. It's like he practically helped Kayla pack her bags and get out of here. And now he's on to the next. Corey says the same thing as well. He's moving on. Out with the old and with the new. So anyways, I got to give you props, Camilla. You chose a nice, young, sexy thing to get down with. <laughs> so anyways, so moving forward. You know, um, Shane is outside talking to Jenna and Nicole. And he's talking to Jenna and Nicole because he wants to form, not not an alliance, but like have a little agreement that if he wins, he's not going to put them up. And if they win, they're not going to put him up. Basically, he wants a security blanket. He's looking out for himself. What you should do in a challenge. You know what I mean? So anyways, so Amanda... Sylvia and Ashley are in the next room and they're looking outside on the patio as Shane is having conversations with with um Jenna and um Nicole and so they're getting worried they want to know what he's talking about they want to know if he's betraying them if he's going against their alliance they want to know what's good you know what I mean so anyways they're worried Sylvia Amanda and Ashley so moving forward now it's time for challenge the name of the challenge is called curry up curry up basically each each team but first we're gonna start off with this it is the un underdogs elimination and the chance are safe so with whoever is on the underdogs team Whoever wins, the first man and the first girl gets to be safe. They're safe and they cannot be put up for elimination. And then they have to pick a, a boy and a girl to go up. And then after that, after they have to pick a person to, to, go, at, to go into the elimination round, a boy and a girl, um, once they get back to the house, the team has to vote on who is going to be staying and who's going to be leaving so the challenge is called curry up basically curry up you know what and I like curry so I could possibly do this challenge I look I, you know some people that watch the show believe they can do all these challenges they're so good and I'm one of them people which I know I can't at all so anyways but I could do the curry I don't know about the running the three miles up a hill and back but anyways what happens is 
Each team have to line up and they have to run three miles to get to two. There's going to be two food station. Curry station number one, curry station number two. Curry station number two is going to be really spicy, way more spicier than the other one. So basically what's going to happen is each team, each team member will have to finish a bowl of soup, suck it up with a straw, and then after that, run to the next station, which will be station two, and the curry's even hotter. And then after they suck up that, <laughs> they have to run back to the beginning and then... Um, put together a puzzle so basically after each team member has fil finished a bowl of soup under their placemat is a piece of a puzzle so basically so now the the champions they have they don't have a lot of players they have a few players you know what i'm saying so they're gonna have to drink extra curry basically so once so once they drink the extra curry and they go from station one to station two they have to after they finish station two whoever is the first male or female to get to the puzzle area is the winner of the team basically so but basically the champions don't have to worry about anything they straight there's no elimination for them and also tj has thrown in a special surprise they get 15 grand extra added to their accounts so that's good you know so anyways um after that, you know, basically now it's time for the teams to go. And basically on the champion um, side, to me, what I noticed is um, CT demolished the soup. Um, Darrell demolished the soup. So did Banana. Bananas did kind of okay, whatever. The girls, they really didn't show them that much. But on the underdogs team, Shane was the top dog he was you know mo motivating everybody encouraging everybody to hurry up come on he even drank extra bowls of soup he drank jenna's soup corey's soup and some and maybe sylvia's soup somebody else's soup and he's helping people run you know what i mean and um he's really being a team player and for him it sucks because he feels like he's on a team with a bunch of losers but we also got to understand shane is older he's more experienced and he knows what a challenge is is about basically so he's not happy he was like they're all losers <laughs> and basically laura says at this challenge you'll find out who is really meant to be here or not i believe um laura said that and so did ct ct still looks good as fuck so does corey <laughs> and darrell he looks good too you see him with his shirt off like whoa so anyways um so from I started talking about <laughs> bodies and shit, I forgot I lost my train of thought. So basically the champions, you know, they finish first, they win. They win the 15 grand or whatever. So Banana gets to the end. He was like, I'm not helping with the puzzle. He just sits there, you know, doing the Johnny Bananas thing because no one's going to be eliminated. But you know what? If they, if they finish first, they get an extra 15 grand inside their accounts. They, their team account basically and so then now you got the underdogs um shane's helping everybody but shane should be focused on himself to make sure he came in number one but it didn't matter i don't think anybody was gonna put shane up so as the underdogs are running and running and throwing up and throwing up and throwing up and throwing up and it's so disgusting they made us watch them vomit yellow vomit too Ugh. and then Darrell Darrell was like come on it's only curry motherfuckers it's not like he was eating raw meat or raw something so but anyways so as they as the underdogs finish um station number two everyone starts to do sprints to run to get to the top of the hill and place their puzzle piece down so they can be the winner and not face elimination so basically on the underdogs team hunter wins hunter beats everybody hunter is a surprise hunter has really done a lot i didn't even i don't even think of hunter but so far on this whole season hunter has been great he's been winning and knocking him down he is a force to be reckoned with <laughs> and I would also say Nelson, but he's kind of immature. But Nelson is a force to be reckoned with, too, because he has won two eliminations 
<laughs> so anyways, Hunter wins for the guys and Nicole wins for the girls. The police officer from New York, I believe. She wins for the girls. So on that note, now they have to pick who's going to go up for elimination right on the spot. Hunter, who does Hunter fucking pick? Hunter picks Jenna. Hunter picks Jenna. And Nicole picks um, Nelson. So them two are going to be going up for elimination. So once they get back to the house, they're going to have to vote to see who is going to go up against um, Nelson and Jenna. So basically, um, but before that happens, Hunter gets into an argument with Bananas. Bananas says that Hunter has that little man complex. He has circuit man hands and he's balding. And he was like, you know, fuck him or whatever. And Hunter said, I could face you anytime. Bring it on. You, Me and you one on one. You ain't going to win, Johnny Bananas. You can't beat me. And, you know, and then Banana goes, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stir the pot. But Hunter says that Johnny Banana is a stirring the pot with his team so they can all fight among each other, which is true. Hope It would have been nice if Hunter would heed to that message and paid attention to it. But then Nelson's, Nelson gets into it with um, Bananas talking about, look at all of them. You, you didn't do nothing. You could barely drink your soup. You was all falling all over the place. And then Johnny Banana says, you got like 18 puzzle pieces laying over there on the floor, you motherfuckers. And then Johnny Bananas is going like to stir in the pot. Then that's when Hunter jumps in. is like, I know what you're fucking doing, Bananas. You're trying to stir the pot over here and start drama with our team. And that's exactly what Johnny Bananas is trying to do. Johnny Bananas says that, you know, you stir the pot with them. make They get mad at you and they start fighting among each other. They take it out on each other. So he pisses them off and then they fight among each other. And they take it out on each other. And which they lose. They make mistakes. They don't pay attention. They have more pressure. So basically he's trying to beat them down mentally. I just wish people, the players will watch the game and know how Johnny Banana rolls. Because how is he able to get under your skin if you don't know Johnny Bananas? But Johnny Bananas has tortured plenty of females on this on this um, show in previous seasons and males. When Johnny Banana goes after you, he goes after you and he taunts and he taunts and he taunts. And he's good at it. He knows how to play that mind fuck you game basically. And so... Um, so now they get back to the house. They're going to have, um, Johnny Banana takes the toilet seat from the girls, which is, um, the, the toilet that Amanda uses, um, Ashley uses and Sylvia uses. So he sneaks while, while Ashley is in the pool and the other girls around the house, he sneaks, he goes, steals the toilet seat, put it on a blow up animal and push it out into the pool. And when Ashley M is running to go use the bathroom, it's not there. So she's crying. She's yelling. She's calling Johnny banana an asshole. She's like, I want to get the fuck out of here. I want to go home. Where the fuck is my ticket? I hate this place. Fuck this. Producers have to come in and calm her down. And she was like, after eating all that curry, I got it stuck in my throat, stuck in my stomach, stuck in my bowels. All they do is shit and throw up. Disgusting. So, and Johnny Banana is just laughing because now he's fucking getting at them mentally. He's destroying their confidence, destroying their bond. And before they know it, they'll be out of here. They won't have an alliance anymore. So, now it's time for them to vote. And Sylvia says that she wants to go in because she felt like she did a terrible job, that she was awful. But she already went into two eliminations and she won. But she feels like she still has to prove herself. She st she feels like she has to do this. And Johnny Bananas says, you know what? You're dumb. You're already proven yourself. There's half, half the girls on your team have not proven themselves yet and went into elimination. But you went in and you won. So what do you have to prove? And she was like, oh... I'm going to, that's my word and I'm sticking to it. I'm going to stick to what I say. I'm going to stick to what I do basically or whatever. So he was like, that stupid noble gets you nowhere in this game. And when Johnny Banana says that Darrell is, is standing at the stove. So hopefully Darrell knows that Johnny Bananas don't want to see him at the end. Even, in, even though Johnny Banana said he did want to see him at the end and the beginning of the episode at the club. So anyways, Nicole, not Nicole. 
So, um, Sylvia's going in because she says she wants to go in. So, Corey, Jenna, Nicole, Nelson, and Shane. I, I, I want, no, it's, um, so inside the underdogs team is Corey, Jennifer, Corey, Jennifer, Nicole, and Dario on one side of the underdogs team. On the other side of the underdog team is Nelson, Shane, Hunter, Ashley, Amanda, and Sylvia. So they're still, they split up as a team. You know what I mean? So they're really not working together. So basically they're not trying to eliminate the weakest to the strongest, but it does happen for them. So anyways, so it's now it's time to go to find out um who's gonna go up against um Jenna and Nelson. D Hunter puts in Dario and Nicole puts in Nelson and um Yeah, I was I was gonna go over who voted for who, but <laughs> I forgot who voted for who. So, anyways, at the end, Dario is gonna be facing off with Nelson, and Sylvia is gonna be facing off with Jenna. So, people think Sylvia's crazy for doing it, but oh well. And but before then, Dario hears while they're at the challenge earlier the curry up challenge dario Dar dario hears that you know shane made like a little deal with nicole and jenna so he runs back to tell nelson and tell the other team that so he can stay in the game basically he's trying to use any tool and every tool he can use to make sure that he stays in the game you know what i mean my shirt is all upside it so he wants to make sure that, you know, he stays in the game. So he wants to cause some confusion. He wants them to argue among each other and possibly vote Shane. And so he doesn't go, but it doesn't work. The girls say, you know what, Dario, you tried it, but we voting you in. We're going to stick to our lines and we love Shane. So Shane skeets through. So, you know, that was cool or whatever. But the next episode is going to be about, about it. And the next episode after that, that's when it starts to get crazy. That's when the relationships and the messing around and all that bullshit goes haywall. I can't wait. So anyways, um, so they have their, so after that, um, so now it's time for the challenge. TJ comes in, they do the vote or whatever. And it's some, it was kind of boring a little bit. But anyways, um, so now, um, basically they get to the elimination. It's time to, what they basically got to do is take a rope and hit these heads of these, um, skeletons that have powder inside and you have to swing the rope. You got to get into a rhythm to hit the heads of the rope because it's under like a bell or something and you got to knock them off, knock them off. But as you hit it, and you bust open the skeleton's head, powder comes out, either red powder or blue powder comes out, basically. And you have goggles on. Once the powder gets on you, if it gets on your face, you're not able to see. But if you can get into a rhythm, put your put your hand at the top of the rope, at a little bit at the minimum at the bottom of the rope, and then you get a grip and you swing and you get into a rhythm. And you know, you bend you bend your legs and you get into a posture where you're able to do that. And then you go around and around and around. So basically, um, Dario goes up against Nelson. Dario loses, of course. Uh, Nelson wins because Dario, sometimes he's not good at elimination rounds. And sometimes he can feel defeated. And that's what Johnny Banana said about um, Sylvia. He feels that she checked out. She's defeated. But I must say, Dario, Dario actually looks a lot more attractive this season i don't know if i don't it's like his face looks different he looks more manly you know like he looks a lot he looks a lot more attractive than he did last season or the last time he was on with bloodlines i believe he looked uh, maybe he got older or whatever but he looks he's doing it he's doing it he's doing it so anyways but dario loses and nelson wins because nelson and sometimes nelson um he gets ahead of himself sometimes and he'll mess up, but I can see that he's, 
he's calming himself down more when he has when he's in a, when he's in an elimination or he really starts to think about strategy a lot. Um, so he actually, surprisingly, he won this challenge and he did it very eloquently and he won. So, you know, Nelson stays, Dario goes. And so Jenna, and I don't know why Sylvia would want to go, go up against Jenna. Jenna has proven herself over and over for many different, um, seasons that she has participated in the challenge she's the she does really good they act like she's dumb she don't know anything she used to pull that card but not anymore everyone knows that she is smart everybody knows that she's intelligent she just doesn't like to drink or eat things basically but she knocks them out quicker than any than anyone that was in the elimination round with her she had the rhythm of the rope and she said i'm gonna use it like a rodeo like if i was trying to rope a horse or something and she got them all around she got them all she hit all the skeletons the skulls i mean all the skulls powder came out boom she won in no time so basically um jenna stays nelson stays sylvia goes home and so does dario sylvia i wish you would i i wish you wouldn't vote yourself in because you have proven yourself and i think that you would have been a lot better than amanda because i don't think amanda has proven herself i've seen ashley and challenges before but only time would tell right so what's gonna happen with shane are they gonna turn on shane is Corey and nelson gonna get together what the hell is bananas gonna do but and then nicole messing around with laura and car and um carla marie what's gonna happen with that that's just gonna be awesome i can't wait and so then you have um because i like the drama too you know especially when ct used to be on back in the day the drama and all the drama that johnny bananas did back in the day so 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 have Car carla marie um, and Carmilla, all the shit that they used to get in and do, they used to be wild back then. They kind of toned now, but Carmilla kind of went back to her old self and got her some Corey. She got her some young meat. So anyways, um, I believe it was Carla Marie and, um, Carmilla that wanted to, and Laura, I don't know if Laura was involved or not, but they wanted to play a trick on Amanda and, um, Amanda and Ashley. So basically, they empty um, bags of chips under the girl's bed. Like, under the sheet, they put bags of chips. So once they lay down on the bed, they'll crunch it. So they would have to clean that whole mattress, clean the whole bed out. They would have to do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and then it stinks. It smells like the nasty chips, whatever they put down. And so Hunter's in the room chilling. He watches these females do this. But he keeps his mouth closed. And not remembering what Johnny did earlier was stirring the pot. And he's forgetting the champs are going to stir the pots with the guys and the girls. So it was the girls stirring the pot with the girls, the champ girls stirring the pot with the underdog girls. And he just forgot to, to, to calm Ashley down and Amanda and say, hey, these ones did this. They're trying to mess with our heads. But then he just gets mad and say, hey, fuck this, fuck that. And then because Ashley is cussing him out saying, you're fucking doing this. You know they did it. Did you do it? Get the fuck out of my room. I fucking hate you. And then Hunter's like, I'm not fucking with you anymore. I didn't do it. They did it. You think this is a fucking prank? I'll show you a fucking prank. So actually, Bananas and the girls are playing mind games and stirring the pot with the underdogs making them break up their alliance and their team and not focusing on the game and that's what champs do because they know it's more than just physical and strength it's also your mental and your confidence so um Hunt, so hunter says he's done with ashley he's never going to talk to her again and want nothing to do with her he's leaving the room as it's a wrap so now their alliance is broken up and I also wonder why he let it get to that level. How come he just didn't tell him who did it? And knowing that they're stirring a pot and Ashley is very emotional and she's not a stable person. And um, just heed the message that he, he, he said earlier to Johnny and keep his team together because he's more, he, he has more knowledge than, you know, um, Ashley and Nicole. Basically that, I mean, Ashley and Amanda 
to tell him that it's just a prank. Don't worry about it. But um, Ashley is breaking down. She's deter deteriorating. She's just, she's like checking out, you know. She wants to go home. But Carla Marie, Carla Maria, Carla Marie, <laughs> Carla, Carla Marie says, if someone plays a joke on you, you're supposed to just laugh at it. If you let them know that it bothers you, they're going to continue to do it. And it's going to get worse. And she should know because Johnny used to bully her. And all these girls were bullied on the champions team by somebody and jokes played on them. But we'll see what happens. And Carmilla is all up in Corey's bed. She said, Corey's bed smells good. It has better AC. So she's hooking up with him. And then she finds a letter that Kayla wrote to Corey. Don't miss me so much. And they're making fun of Kayla and laughing at her. Even though she pissed on TV. Poor Kayla. So anyways, please like and subscribe. It'll be greatly appreciated. I can't wait to the next episode where it's going to be ant. Ant. I can't wait. I love it when they go at it. I love when they started playing manipulating games. They started playing trickery and just, just doing people. And you'd be like, yo, why you fall for that? I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Who do you guys want to see at the end? I know who I want to see at the end. But I don't want to say it and they get eliminated. So anyways, hit me up. Peace.